Hello and welcome to Tights TV. You all know me, Neil. Uh, got Caleb on, uh, young Caleb. We're on uh, channel last season. All being well, it's going to be a bit better season this season. So, Caleb, great to have you on, my friend. Thank you. Not a worry. Uh, so, players, what have gone? Um, Callum Britton, you know, Woodrow, Morris. Were there any surprises there for you, Caleb, or were it, yeah, expected to uh, left it was a bit uh, left back? It was a bit ex expected, but I, it's a shame that it went, it, them two went. Hmm. It's a big miss. Players that have come in, though, um, I mean, there's Luke Connell, McCarthy, Cadden, uh, Norwood, there's a lot of players, well, about five or six players that have come in. Uh, have you been impressed with players? You know, you know, the Luke Connell seems to have got a lot of good reviews in pre season. So, are you happy with players that have come in? Yeah, I think. Some of them are like good experienced and some of them are young. Mm. A lot of them are in their twenties. Yeah. Uh, and that's refreshing. I mean, twenty four, twenty five year olds what have been coming in and the you know, three year contracts, Snowwood's come in, you know, a lot of people saying at thirty one year old, but at the end of the day, we're wanting to you know, get that bit of experience because we've got like Aidan Marsh and Matty Wolf, some young youngsters already be here. So it's just about learning off it of the older players, isn't it? And experienced. Yeah. About Norwood, I think he's gonna be a good player when match for it too. He I think he's very experienced in the one. I think he'll help Aidan Marsh uh, and Jack Aitchison along me. I think they'll they'll learn off him because like I said he's, a, he's an experienced player. Um and I think it's a good addition to Side, I don't think he'll be playing every week because uh, his fitness and that, like you said. But I think he's a good player to come off at bench as well to, for like an impact sub. If you know, if we need a goal or something. So, uh, what do you think about his new coach? Because last time I spoke to you, you know, we still had Ash Bargy, uh, but we've got Michael Duff. I, have you been impressed with him? Well, I think we've been like doing well with him. Well, uh, we've won Chef Yo. I know it won't their full team, but I mm. feel like he's done well then. I think he comes across very well. I think he's got uh, standards and he's got a structure in place. And I think players like playing, um, and players seem happier under Michael Duff and Martin Devaney uh, and Martin uh, Patterson. So again, he's got like, it's like a an happier place to be at minute in Barnsley, isn't it? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it's a good place. The coach is good. Players getting better. It's getting better, isn't it? Last season. Yeah, exactly. I mean, getting better, like you said, via uh, Caleb. Do you think we need any any other players in? Do you think we need a striker to win? Do you need striker definitely? Yeah, we need a striker in. at least one striker. Would you again? Would you like to see someone come in to replace Callum Britton as well, just to uh, strengthen the uh, team up a bit? Yeah, I think he can be replaced either way because it, because he had a poor season last season. Hmm. I know Jordan Williams has come back from injury, but you know we've got like a bit of replacement there. But I still think we need a bit of strength in depth. I know transfer window is still open for a quite a bit, like yeah, uh, even though we've got a game come up against Plymouth, so we'll get on about that. Uh, Plymouth Argyle away. I mean, it's a long trip away as well, isn't it? Uh, what's the expectations? Are you expecting a win, a draw, a loss, or you know, it's too early to call? What What's your expectations? I think a draw would be good for this match. It's a good starting game because Plymouth are a good team. Hmm. It's a, it's a it's a bit of distance as well, isn't it? Uh, yes. Plymouth Argyle. Yeah. So, it's in about a six hour drive. It's not far off, mate. Yeah, it's not far off. It, I think it's one of the furthest uh, away grounds we'll be going this season. And like I say, a tough game, but I mean, it's unpredictable. Always first game, or first few games of the yeah. season. Everybody's wanted to win, everybody. Um, and like I said, we've just got to concentrate on ourselves. And it'd be a good, I think it'd be a good test for everybody. Uh, I think it'd be a good test for Michael Duff, the players, the fans. You know, see where we're going to go. I think it's going to be a test, and you know, all being well, we'll come back with three points. If not, if we come back with a draw, I think I'd be happy with a draw. To be fair, you know, going all that far. Good start to the season, I think, is a draw. 
And I think it's patience as well. Like you just said, be a good start to the season. Get some points. That's what we need in it. Points early doers. Yeah, because some upcoming games, I think they they can start the getting hard. Yeah, and we need to be looking playing, especially back at Oakwell, back in Barnsley. We need to make Oakwell like a bit of a fortress, something we? we need to be like you know winning games at Oakwell compared to last season, like you said, it was poor. This season, we need to move on from that and all being well. We can see some bounds of wins at home, yeah? Yeah. I think because we had a poor season last season, we've got some new players in. I think it's a good idea, like, getting young players, like, so they can do the running and the experienced ones, obviously, as the experience to, like, learn them. Yeah, I think it's going to be key that, uh, not just on pitch as well, I think it also in training, when we're training players, they can learn certain things and that can't be in training, work on like set pieces and free kicks and corners and everything like that, the, the other side of it as well. I think that's a good call, what you've just said via Caleb. About three kicks in the last game against Sheffield, that was a great free kick. With Josh Benson, yeah? Yeah. Could do with a few more of them kind of goals, yeah? It'd be all right in, uh, in the league, wouldn't it? Uh, probably yeah. get a goal at season, that one, it. Yeah. Uh, so we've got on about Plymouth game and we've got on about players in and out. Some that you know we still think, like Caelan said, at least another striker to come in. Um, uh, bit early yet, but do you think it will do well in the league next season, Caelan? Where do you think we could finish? Where would you want us to finish? Where, where do you think we will be? I think where we will be is about fourth place. Playoffs, yeah, cool. Yeah, I, I will. I will looking at probably playoffs. Optimistically, you know, I'm hoping that if we get another striker in and probably, you know, a replacement for Callum Britton, I think it's you know, we, we, Michael Duff said, "Any we need goals and his, you know, his identified players." But again, we need to look at that. Callum Styles and Elik possibly they might be going or might not be again unknown. But for me, I'd be like to think that we make at least playoffs. Um, and obviously, some big sides there. Uh, you know, you've got your Portsmouth, uh, your Ipswich, your Boltons, your Sheffield Wednesdays, you know, Derby's, and there's a lot of big teams there. Uh, but we need to be winning our game. So, you're going for playoffs and you're going fourth, yeah? Yeah. Good call. I'm going for playoffs. I'm, you know, I'm hoping we get a strike in. I think that's going to be key because we need, we need goals. That's that's key. So, Caelan, I've appreciated it, my young friend. Um, what, are you going for a win or a draw at Plymouth? A draw. A draw. I'm going to go 1-1, one, one, Plymouth. I'd like to go 2-1 for Barnsley, but I think it's going to be 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, everybody what's watching, please like, subscribe and share. Leave your comments below as well. Uh, you might agree or disagree with what me and Caelan said. We both seem to be going for playoffs, so all being well with you. Obviously, we want to get automatic promotion, but if we get to the playoffs, it's still, uh, still a task. Uh, it's going to be in our season. But, Caelan, thanks for joining me. I've, I've appreciated it. Thank you for getting me on again. Not a problem. Anytime, my friend. One thing left to say, you Reds.